If you would like a free newsletter on this or other subjects, just give us a call at Christian Answers. The phone number is area code 512-218-8022. That's 512-218-8022. Or you could email us at cdebater at aol.com. That's cdebater at aol.com. Thank you. I, I think when we hear on a, in the Western media anyway that Islam is peace, we have the same God, mm -hmm. and uh, the Christians and the Jews and the Muslims, they're all brothers, mm -hmm. and they all worship the same God, and they all revere Jerusalem. Well, uh, that, you know, there's this, like, brotherhood there. But to me, that all just sounds like a PR campaign to hide the truth. Exactly. <laughs> because whatever reasons uh, the media has, uh, with all respect, I think they are, time to time, they should come uh, out also with a real Islamic understanding of God, about jihad, about, uh, about what they believe uh, out of salvation, out of ummah, and why they are behaving that way, because that's, that's the core. Because if you're not a Muslim, you are, you are my enemy. Mm -hmm. According to because their... you're, according to their um, theology of ummah. That's right. Yeah. You're not ummah. And uh, I guess what we're doing here is we're, re one reason we're doing this program is just to show why uh, what you're being told main by mainline media sources and what you see in reality when you read about another bomb going off and more terrorists have killed a bunch of people <laughs> and there seems to be a religious connection, but yet these are just extremists and, yes. and, and it's always a, a fundamentalist and an extremist and it's not really the religion of islam these are perverters of islam these aren't these these guys that go around blowing up school buses and killing kids uh even though they're yelling allah akbar uh, they 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 they're extremists and they don't really they're they're making a mockery of islam that's what we're being told but i don't think that's the case at all no i don't believe it either Living in Pakistan, experiencing Islam so much for so many years, and living among them, and being persecuted not just by myself, but most of my Christian brothers and sisters and non-Muslims in Pakistan, I can say it with certainty that they are big numbers. I cannot say how much percentage they are, but they are not in small numbers. They are not just extremists. They are big numbers. And they're taking this Quran seriously. And they, they take it literally what is in Quran and Hadith and Sunnah and Sharia. Mm -hmm. And they believe it. That's what God wants from them as a Muslim young man and woman. Now, now uh, you've got a, a great quote. And I think at this point in our conversation, it would be great to bring it up from the Ayatollah Khomeini out of Iran. And if you could get that quote. And, uh, and while you're getting it, I'll, I'll mention the fact that in Islam we have Sunnis and we have Shiites comprising the vast majority of your Muslims. But the Shiites are a little different than the Sunnis. And one reason for that is the fact that uh, the Shiites uh, believe in what's called a... Uh, 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 like a like an ayatollah, I guess you yes. know, a, imam. A, a, a imam. Yeah, and, and a successor to Muhammad, which is a little different than the Sunnis, who kind of stop at Muhammad. But the Shiites look to the and, and I want you to explain that a little bit to our Western viewers here who don't understand the power mm -hmm. that like an ayatollah Khomeini would have. What is his authority in Shiite Islam? And once you explain that. Give us some of the quotes that you have from him that will really put the, put the, the, the wood to the situation to explain the kind of danger we're in with this. this. Yes, I think Imam uh, Khomeini in, 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 in Shia religion is, is, a, is a successor of, a uh, continuation of successor of Muhammad's, like the caliphs were, and then in, in the imams were, 12 imams, and this is the continuation of that cycle and he has the absolute authority to interpret the Quran and the Sharia and the Islamic law and the Sunnah 
to the people and people are supposed to believe and listen to him. Now that's Shiites. Yeah, Shiites. Yeah. Now this is almost equivalent to like in Roman Catholicism of the, the infallibility of the, of the Pope. An infallible interpretation of the, uh, the uh, uh, I forgot the ex exact term of that, but they've got a, a, a organization at, in the church that it infallibly in, in, interprets scripture. But uh, this is the same thing, Infa yeah. infallibility of the Pope. Yeah, equally, equally powerful. And equally, or the magisterium. Magisterium, know, equally, equally powerful and equally uh, infallible. Right. So right. He, he, Khomeini is talking about the jihad and how he understands jihad and how he interprets the, the understanding of jihad and, from Quran. And you're not just saying this is his interpretation. This is, it is his interpretation, yes. but everyone's required to accept, accept. what he says. says. Yes. That's the that's key. the kicker. That's yeah, the key. That's the key. <laughs> right. Yes. So and what does he, he say? And he says, Islam makes it incumbent on all adult males, provided they are not disabled and incapacitated, to prepare themselves for the conquest of other countries, so that the writ of Islam is obeyed in every country in the world. But those who study Islamic holy war will understand why Islam wants to conquer the whole world. Those who know nothing of Islam pretend that Islam counsels against war. Those who say this are witless. Islam says, kill all the unbelievers just as they would like to kill you. Do this, does this mean that Muslims should sit back until they are devoured by the unbeliever. Islam says, kill them, which means the non-Muslims, put them to the sword and scatter their armies. Does this mean sitting back until non-Muslims overcome us? Islam says, kill in the service of Allah those who may want to kill you. Does this mean that we should surrender to the enemy? Islam says, Whatever good there is exists thanks to the sword, in the shadow of the sword. People cannot be made obedient except with the sword. The sword is the key to paradise, which can be opened only for holy warriors. There are hundreds of other Quranic Psalms and Hadiths saying of the Prophet, urging Muslims to value war and to fight. Does all that mean that Islam is a religion that prevents men from waging war? I spit upon those foolish souls who make such a claim. That's, that's right from the words, the lips of Ayatollah Khomeini, who speaks with the authority of an infallible pope to a willingly uh, obedient Shiite population that uh, I guess the majority would be in Iran. Yeah. And how, yes. how, how many uh, people would live there? Maybe uh, millions of people. Yes, millions. millions. So he's saying, I, I thought it was interesting, he's, he's actually saying these people are witless that they yes. don't think that the Quran and the Hadiths teach war. War, yes. And he says, and he says kill he, them. Yes. And he, he says, says I, spit on, I, spit, I spit on the soul. If they believe that. That's right. That's right. And he says you got to use the sword and be a holy warrior through jihad to enter the gates of paradise. And not only to do that, but we have to conquer the world. That's right. Make them Islamic. That's right. And, and of course, that's taught in the Quran and the yes. Hadith anyway. Yes. So to me, uh, just knowing and having read the Quran and these Hadiths myself anyway, uh, you know, I can understand why he says that. But now someone who's ignorant, that doesn't know this stuff, and they hear him say that, they think he's some kind of radical. Please contact Christian Answers for free information on numerous subjects. Important subjects, such as the biblical doctrine of the Godhead, the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. To see full-length videos on these and other subjects, go to Yahoo Video, type Larry Wessels into the search box, and click on the icon for iShoot Video 2.